know, it's Monday. Happy Monday to everybody. I was playing basketball, man. It's, if you ain't played basketball in the winter or any sports, man, and you go play, you be sore for a minute. If your brother finally about to take this limit to the shop, take it to get it back fixed. Lemon, sad. Thing what? What, you want me to move this lemon? Oh, yeah, I'm going to save my gas. Y'all see what it looks like. Why you don't have it? What happens when you have too much fun in your vehicle? It costs you way more. You know? Want to have fun and dog it out. You know, want to have fun and race people. Wreck the money, Kyle. He didn't win the, he wrecked and out there racing. He was racing my brother. And, you know, if it's a small street and you know how small these streets is, only two cars can fit, you know, you got to you gotta make a little swerve and maneuver, you know. So either you go or the car. So, so you know, the car had to, the car had to go. I had to go, but yeah. But we about to drop this off to Wilson. About to get the things going. Then we drop this video. Go holler at Wilson. We get the parts to this Nissan. Y'all know I had called around to these salvage yards, and they was trying to charge me crazy. Like I understand the price of Defender and everything like that, but man. <laughs> When they told me how much, I'm like, it ain't even that much hood. I was like, man, it ain't even that much hood on this car, honestly. Like, I mean, it's Wilson about the Fender too, because I couldn't find the, I couldn't find the Fender to that gold Buick. So, I don't know if, I don't know. Probably, I'm gonna see if he could just fix the Fender, and I just pay him, you know, just pay him like maybe like a hundred, a hundred and fifty, maybe just like to fix the Fender and stuff like that, because I don't, cause trying to find these parts, man, it's crazy. Like, I, it's like, even this, even the salvage yard, huh? Yeah, yeah, even if, even that got a shortage. But yeah, I was able to find the bumper, so I got the front bumper. It was just trying to find the hood, you know? Find the matching front bumper. I was gonna buy the matching hood from the same place too, but I was like, uh, no. Because the front bumper was already more than what it cost. Because her to fit the front bumper is like 60 bucks. Like, like 60, say like 65 or something. That certified, but you know how much they was trying to charge me for. Like I ended up buying the um, front bumper from my salvage yard at the lot, so I'm gonna wait, wait till I can get the hood. You know how much they was trying to charge me for a hood for that little old car? I'm like, yeah, yeah, out your mind. They told me five sixty seven. Yeah, it was the matching color hood, but five sixty seven for a hood. I was like, what? Huh? Huh? I was like, come again? I was like, come again? 567. So plus tax, I'm gonna just round it up to a solid, you know, just round it up to a solid 580 when you count the taxes. So it was five, 580 for a hood. It was a matching color, but I'm not about to pay you no 580. That's more than what I paid for the car. I am not paying no 580 for no hood. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. All right. Just gonna drive around. But like, really, said 567 for a hood for a Nissan Sentra. I'm, I'm like. I'm like, I didn't even pay that much for the car. So I'm like, I am definitely not about to pay that much for no freaking hood, bro. New hood. I was like, crazy. it was crazy though. I was like, like when he like when he told me the price, because I asked for the bumper first. I was like, okay, how much for a bumper? He was like one, it was like one it's one it was one twenty. I forgot text is what I actually but like, I think like one twenty eight or one thirty or something like that. I forget exactly how much I paid. For the hood, but it was like 120 something for the front bumper. I'm like, okay, cool. 
I ain't really, I ain't really mad. You know, I could go spend sixty and get a black one. Or I could spend sixty more dollars to get and get it, get the magic color. So I'm like, all right, cool, we take this. But then when he told me the price for the hood, I'm like, ah man, I'm, I'm a good. I'm gonna go keep searching. Then I go searching all these salvage yards, ain't none. So, so I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Wilson how much he gonna charge to paint a hood. When, I, when we get down here, when we drop his money call off, I'm gonna ask him how much he'll charge to get his price and see how much he'll charge to paint a the hood. Then I'm gonna see how much he's gonna charge to fix this fender. And then we're gonna go from there. But I'll see you when we get to the shop. Damn, ran, ran the hood off of there. Yeah, I was afraid that was gonna happen too, man. I was afraid that was gonna happen, bro. So you might as well just pull up to that shop over there and just have him get, just have him take the hood off. You don't even need the hood, do you? No, I don't need the hood. You already bought another one, so you might as well just creep over there and just to that little shop and just like, hey, y'all got a wrench. I was afraid that shit was going to happen, bro. Oh, you knew that win. It's... I had to get my whole fender, man. Yeah. Now you got to pay to get your fender fixed. <laughs> yeah, shit. Don't put it on fire, man. Took my tent off and everything. Damn. Yeah, it just bumped it. And the wind is bad today. Oh yeah, you know we we live in Oklahoma, the windy city, eh? Yeah. Better do your best to try to creep to the little. Yep. And just tell them, hey man, can you take this hood off? Y'all can junk it or whatever, y'all can keep it. Fuck. Messed up the fender too. Had a feeling. Man, messed up his fender. Now you gotta pay a little extra money to get, get the fender fixed. Pay a little extra money to get the fender fixed. All right, well, let me get myself out of traffic though. I don't think Wilson here. I don't think Wilson here. He said bring it here Monday. Nah, he ain't here. His BMW, he probably at lunchtime. He brought it right at Wilson lunchtime. You know, the, his, his BMW sitting right over there. He might be. Look at that hood and flew off. Uh, yeah, he probably could have took it on the highway once the hood, after the hood was off. <laughs> Only thing, uh, now nah, your hood, your horn bolted down, so you wouldn't have to worry about it. I don't think nothing would have flew off. Nah, everything looked like it was pretty much intact. All the leaves and stuff probably would have just flew off. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, he just said drop it off. I guess he already talked to him about it. But yeah, it's here. This is the before. What you drinking in uh, one? In a monster? Oh, that's Starbucks. Just, I ain't seen that one. I'm gonna go try it. That, that damn Starbucks drink was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Wilson? So, y'all see it? It is the before. You know, happy Monday. Appreciate everybody. You know, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you haven't already, you know, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Okay, he, he flew up and we were driving and we were windy. It was been crazy. Now it's really hot. Like it was raining, raining, raining. Now it's like scorching hot. Like it's like, it's supposed to be like 96. They said between 95 to 102 today. It gets hot. Like this, we have like some crazy weather here in Oklahoma. But yeah, it's supposed to be hot all week. Uh, up in the 90s all week. Like already like sweat. Like I ain't even been out the car that long. A couple minutes. It's that weather that make you don't even want to be doing nothing. Cause you pop a hood on the car and you start touching in the bolts and everything behind you like, man, God, dang. But yeah, so he gonna drop his car off. 
then I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop my car probably Wednesday. I'll let him get his car done. I ain't, I ain't really worried about mine. You know, just it's gonna it's gonna get fixed and so regardless. So we ain't too tripping the mother. But we appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you haven't done already, like that's that weather that gets so hot. Like, but you guys make sure you stay hydrated. I'm eating actually eating on I was trying to eat today. Uh, these are some rice, chickpea peas, and black bean chickpea veggie crisp chips. Uh, I was trying them for my other channel because I changed my other channel to a game from a gaming channel. But I'm a dead, but I changed it to get from gaming. But I'm a definitely, definitely probably just do like food reviews, like trying new foods and stuff like that. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Gaming is okay, but I'm selling cars and I was getting in my. It brought to my attention, like, my kids like, oh, you always playing the game. And I was like, man, I, I am on the game streaming a lot, you know. But it does, like, it takes that time, type, of, type of time to invest in there. And I was like, I was spending too much time on the game, you know, streaming. You know, yeah, I was working, you know, working seven, eight hours a day, nine, ten. Then I was going home streaming, you know, four or five hours and stuff like that. And the time they were seeing me it was on the game. So I was like, ah, we'll just switch it up and I'll just try new foods and drinks and stuff like that so new foods drinks and showing y'all the food places here in oklahoma so if y'all want to go check that out just click on my page click channels and then just go subscribe over there i'll be trying this and it's, it's called try this with jj so you know if i if i try it if it's good i'm gonna recommend you try it and go get you one if not then hey i'm gonna give it a rating and stuff you know but appreciate y'all for tuning in we out we'll see y'all in tomorrow's video got a good one coming for y'all tomorrow or, I mean, good ones coming for you all the time. Yeah, peace.